And we have first motion, the shuttle carrier aircraft and space shuttle Endeavor beginning to thunder down shuttle landing facility runway 15, heading to the southeast, taking to the skies for one last time from Kennedy Space Center. And wheels up unofficially at 7.22 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Space Shuttle Endeavor soaring atop NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft, about to begin a 20-minute flyover of the Space Coast area. The aircraft will remain about 1,500 feet above the ground. Turn toward the coast, conduct a flyover of Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, and then head south down the beach. Where onlookers are gathered, NASA television will cover this entire uh, flyover as best we can. The shuttle and the shuttle carrier aircraft will head to the south and out of range of our cameras, but then we'll come back toward Kennedy Space Center for one final pass over the shuttle landing facility in about 20 minutes. During this flyover, the shuttle carrier aircraft will continue south along the beach toward Patrick Air Force Station or Patrick Air Force Base. And then turn inland and fly north over the Indian River heading back toward the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex and back to the shuttle landing facility before wagging its wings and turning north and then west and on toward Houston. It's accompanied by the Pathfinder and a NASA T-38 jet, a trio of aircraft making a flyover. view once again from the shuttle landing facility as the shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour make their approach.
descending toward runway 33 at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Once again, a view from the top of the Vehicle Assembly Building. A view familiar as we've watched many a shuttle landing over the years. This time not a landing, but a low flyover and a goodbye to Kennedy Space Center from the shuttle carrier aircraft and space shuttle Endeavour.